the FDA doesn't require evidence of mechanism of action. They just require evidence of safety and efficacy. But the more that we have this neuroscience research funded by others and funded ideally by governments too, the more the mechanisms of action will be understood. So it, it looks miraculous and dubious from the outside that people take a few experiences with psychedelics. They've had PTSD for sometimes decades. In our first phase three study, um, we've had um, roughly one third of the people had PTSD for 20 years or more. And yet two thirds of them no longer have PTSD at the end of the study. So how does that happen? It's, it's, it's hard to understand. So the more that the neuroscience research can show neuroplasticity and new neural connections, people can then give credence, people meaning regulators, key opinion leaders can give credence to, yeah, these changes, not only can they happen, but they can be durable. So I think we're gonna really, you know, see more of that developing.